Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. Today I want to talk to you about the Queen Anne's County's Fallen Heroes Memorial Golf Tournament. And today I'm very honored to have a very special guest with me here in the studio. On February 13th, 2001, here in Queen Anne's County, the Schwentz family, as well as other families in our law enforcement community, were greatly impacted by the loss of one of our fellow deputies, Jason Schwentz. Today I'm honored to have Jason's dad here with me to talk about an upcoming event that we'll be holding within the county. Mr. Schwentz, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to Thank see you. Thank you, Sheriff. Appreciate it. Uh, this is a, a, a very nice opportunity, and, and uh, our, my family greatly appreciates the opportunity to, to work with you and, and the Sheriff's uh, Office to help uh, co-host this uh, great tournament. As you know, uh, the tournament's going to be at Prospect Bay, October 7th. We start at 8 a.m., so anyone that's interested in playing, uh, they should either contact um, us directly, which is 443-472-7356, or 443-472-6683. And when times permitted in the past, you've had these golf tournaments and money that's generated is generally used for scholarships and things like that. Correct. But this year, I'll tell you, I was very honored to hear that you wanted to expand the scholarships beyond the scope of law enforcement. And the Fallen Heroes Memorial that's set up actually encompasses fallen firefighters, EMS, as well as detention center and other persons, uh, including law enforcement. And this year, the Schwentz Foundation is actually looking to expand that to provide many scholarships for those other correct those other groups as well. Yes, and and quite frankly, um, working with you has helped uh, uh, expand that um, um, kind of offering and and get it out to the folks that that um, have a need because uh, quite frankly, that's where we'll, that's. The mission of our foundation is to help those students that are that could use um, some financial aid. Those pursuing the interest of public safety, whether it's in fire, EMS, or law enforcement. Right. And I'll tell you, though, the one thing, though, is, is we all know times are tough and money is very difficult to come by, but the foundation would not be successful if it wasn't for the golf players that we need to recruit to come out to this right. event. Right. Golf players uh, especially, community support, to help sponsor the tournament, um, people that want to volunteer to help us work the tournament uh, is very essential to the success of the tournament. And it's um, again at Prospect Bay, October seventh. Um, it I, I I can't say enough about the support we get from this community, and um, and the people that uh, re remember and. That's very important to us. Well, I'm sure that after this, our local businesses are going to step up and support this very worthwhile cause. I mean, the Centerville Town Police Officer, Michael Nickerson, as well as Jason, both gave their lives for the community that they serve, knowing that. But we need the help of the businesses for support. We need whole sponsors. We need players. We need door prizes. We need a lot of things. Right. So, but so far, very successful. We've gotten a great response from the community, but there's still a lot of work left to do. There's a lot of work left to do. That's correct. Um, getting out and getting the word out to people that uh, the tournament is is going to be played and their support and, and uh, is very essential to making a, a success. So this starts at what time on? Uh, registrations at 8 a.m. Okay. Uh, there'll be a breakfast, there'll be a um, uh, lunch after the tournament, and then there'll be prizes, uh, raffles, and um, prize for first place, second place, third place, best scores for the group, a uh, prize for longest drive for men and women, a prize for closest to the tee. Um, so anybody can play. It's okay. a best ball tournament. So it's designed to have fun and designed to um, help reward those that have uh, given their lives to the Queen Anne's County. Mm -hmm. Greatly appreciate it. And I can say that I am not a golfer, but I'm telling you that I'm really considering 
trying golf during this tournament, you know, to okay. see? Is there a prize for somebody who can't hit the ball at all? There is, and and I don't know what the, we'll call it, but... Uh, Okay. All right. Maybe the sheriff's award or something like that for a person. We certainly would look forward you know, to having you out there. Yeah. So I um, get a lot of extra balls and uh, come down to the right. tournament and, and all that. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I know you and your family are as well. And this is a great thing for for all the fallen heroes that are out there that serve in any capacity in yep. public safety at all. It it is. It it truly is. And again, I can't express enough our appreciation for the support of the community and the sheriff's office. Well, thanks. And they can visit you on Facebook as well. Absolutely. And we're going to put that little link here on the screen so okay. people can see that. Okay. And, uh, and they can go to that to register for the tournament, et cetera. So. so they can register there. They can also pay online, correct? Correct. So all that. So it's very convenient. All they got to do is show up with their golf shoes on, their fancy shorts. And they'll get a shirt for participating in the, in the tournament. Well, good. And a sleeve of golf balls. Hey, that's a good thing. I could use several sleeves of golf balls. <laughs> Mr. Schwentz, I look forward to seeing you at Thank Prospect you. Bay. Yes. And it's going to be a great event. And, again, hopefully we can get all the support of local businesses, our community to come out. And I'll just have a great time, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of good friends. And I'll just spend time with you and your family as well. Right. We look so, forward to it. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Okay.